So, Arsenal, two, Wolverhampton Wanderers, one. And that was a lot tighter than it should have been. Let's be real with that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe, mm. And uh, sometimes we need to learn how to see games out and start finishing our dinner because I'll tell you what, that game right there is exactly why I criticise and I get the ump at times. Because on another day, that should have been seven. But we're getting to it. Big up to everyone who's joined. Big up to everyone smashing the likes up. I'm going to be doing a watch along for Newcastle, Manchester United. And um, yeah, man, big up to everyone who joined the watch along. But big up to everyone who is subbed as well. Road to 90k is upon us. 89.4. So big up to everyone inside, man. Uh, appreciate it. But anyway, um, after the 6 nil the other night, it was always going to be an anti-climax, wasn't it? It was always going to be like, oh, my God, can we do it again? Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can't win 6-0 every week. I'm not stupid enough to think we can. But I wanted to see us go out there and um, and have a real good go and, and, and start the game quick again like we did the other day. And to be fair, we did start the game quick. Tommy Asu again. I don't know what he's drinking. Maybe it's the prime instead of the fruit shoots. I don't know what he's eating. Um, hopefully he's all right. He looked like a calf strain again. This guy's calves are made of sand, I swear to God. And just when you think he's getting to that point where it's like, hmm, look convincing me you're actually a really good player here, straight down with injury again. So fingers crossed he's all right. Um, but again, we got the early goal. Tommy involved. Saka, nice footwork in the box. Bang, 1-0. And we're like, here we go. Get the deck chairs out. Get the cigars out. Get the suaves out. Cheers, guys. Happy days. And, uh, and then we get the second goal. Captain, leader, Odegaard, Gibraltar guard, 2-0. And we're like, wow, this could be another six. Uh, Wolves ain't going to get back in the game after we go 2-0 up. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking, right, that's the end of that. Yeah, and then after that, it was just mischance after mischance after mischance after more mischances. Jesus. I know you said scoring's not your strong point, mate, but you didn't need to take it like to the next level today. A hat trick of absolute sitters. A hat trick of absolute sitters. Oh dear. Gabriel Martinelli. Eddie and Ketia. Saka could have squared one to Eddie. And Declan Rice, I'm not going to stick it. The, uh, the blame too much on him for not finishing his chance because this was probably the hardest of the lot. But this is where sometimes we get a little bit lackadaisical, a little bit complacent, a little bit, well, the job's done. We, uh, we've already won the game. Let's just go through the motions. And listen, this is the Premier League. Yeah, a 2-0 lead is not enough. Yeah, we've seen it how many times? We've seen it ourselves this season at home to Fulham. Yeah, we very nearly cost ourselves against Nottingham Forest by playing this Oh, yes, well, we're in control of the game. That was easy. And it's very difficult that when a team get a goal back at 2-0, when you're playing within yourselves and playing like without any urgency, really. Obviously, yes, we're trying to score another goal, but it was just more about not getting injured and just going through the motions and seeing the game out. Controlling the game, as Top Gooners would say. But it's very difficult that when a team score, to get it back to 2-1, that then you go from being down here with your performances in terms of you're not like straining yourself, then it's easy. So now you've got to go up here real quick because their towels are up. Yeah, their towels are up now and you've got to find a performance now. Very difficult to do that. Very, very difficult to do that. Listen, we stuck in, we hung in and we got the job done in the end. But, but let me just tell you right now, please don't do that again. Yeah. David Raya today must be absolutely seething with that C-Tech Bart Simpson. And I thought he was quality today. I thought they were all good today. The only disappointing player for me today on that pitch was probably Trossard. You know, Trossard, I didn't really see him. I didn't really see you a lot, mate. Yeah, other than that, I thought the other players, I thought they were really, really good today. And listen, everyone knows my love for Trossard. Yeah, everyone knows that I think that Trossard is our best player. Well, he didn't show it today. Yeah, and maybe that's because he was playing in the left eight position or maybe he just weren't on it. I don't know. Uh, there was an instance where he gave the ball away. It went out for a throw-in. I think he won the throw-in when he went to the left wing towards the end of the game. 
and um, and Arteta ripped him a new one. Yeah, and damn right, because he was poor today, man. Other than that, the centre-backs, class again. Absolutely class. The goalkeeper, class again. Yeah, and he's very, very quickly shutting up these Ramsdale fanboys and girls and Ramsdale's dad. Because I'll tell you what, you know, that chance where um, the Bozo jeans, you know, the two Bozo jeans, Gabriel and, um, and 35, yeah, they didn't have any communication between each other. And the, the ball just went straight through. And I think it was Cunha um, went in on goal. The goalkeeper came rushing out. If he had carried on rushing out, then he probably gives a penalty away and gets sent off and we're back to Ramsdale in goal. Instead, he came rushing out, held off a little bit. Yeah, and all of a sudden, the chance is gone. Yeah, and I like that. That was composure. That was concentration. That was actually, I'm not going to do anything stupid here. I'm not going to have a rush of blood and do anything dumb. But again, that was kind of a little warning shot for us. Like, listen, this game's not over yet. Go and get up, go and get a third. And we didn't get the third. I thought Odegaard today. That is a proper captain's performance today. Proper captain's performance today. I thought he, he, he dragged us forward. He was dictating the play. Declan Rice, again, another solid performance. Getting his toe in, getting his body on the line. Dragging us forward, having a shot. Yeah, Trossard, sorry, mate. You're the only disappointing player for me today. Yeah, the, like I said, the back line, quality. Tommy Asu on smoke. Yeah, Zinchenko, quality up until the bozo moment. And that guy, if in doubt, kick it out. You learn this when you're a five-year-old, my friend. Yeah, at one point, he's here, there and everywhere, which was great because we were dominating. I don't care if you're in the penalty box as the last, uh, the furthest man forward trying to get the ball. Now, I don't care about that if we're dominating that much, but you have to go and get that killer goal, that third goal. Get the get the game dusted. Take any ounce of hope, yeah, or doubt out of the game. Like anything, just take it out of the game. And instead, we didn't because of him, yeah, which is going to probably reflect in player ratings with me and Jez because at that point, before that, I thought he was quality. I thought he was absolutely quality. I thought Saka, again, well done, mate. Absolutely well done. Nearly scored an absolute banger as well. Absolute banger if that goes in. Yeah, and for me, I thought he's really good the last two games. That's what I want to see. Yeah, the way he drags us up the pitch. Martinelli doing all the fancy dance, the Zidans and all of that. The uh, the roulettes. Is that what it's called? The roulettes and all of that. Quality today. Very good today. Very, very good. Jesus. Yeah, I know he didn't score, but he was getting in positions and he, his movement was good. But he's got to do better. Yeah, I'm not going to say he had a bad game. But then I suppose on the flip side, missing three chances, you probably have had a bad game. Your job's to score. Yeah, but for me, like I said, the only downside was probably Trossard. Yeah, when the subs came on, um, 29 didn't really do a lot. Won a header, flicked it on to Eddie. Yeah, didn't really do a great deal. It, it won't. And, and to be fair, I was actually shocked he was dropped. I can't lie. Yeah, you scored two goals in two games. Your confidence is flowing and you're benched. Bit weird. But this manager's got previous of that. He's done it with Laka, scored three in the first three games of the season and benched him once. Yeah, he's done it with Trossard umpteen times. He's done it with Eddie after he was on a run. Yeah, he's done it with Aubameyang enough times. So we shouldn't be surprised. But at the end of the day, we do have eight games this month. But when a player's banging form, well, I say banging form, he ain't banging form. When a player scored two in two, you're probably best to play them, even if I don't agree with it. I ain't getting paid to make these decisions. I can just sit and say I don't agree with it, or I do agree with it. But for me, he didn't really do a great deal when he came on. Eddie and Ketia, by the way. Uncomfortable conversations. Eddie and Ketia, you're clean through on goal. The weight of pass from Odegaard, perfect. He laid it on a plate. It was harder to miss, and you missed. Sorry, mate, your your time's up. Your time is up. Yeah, your time is up. Yeah, Kivior didn't have enough time when he came on, really. Ben White, um, I think he's been on the uh, the Caribbean set in nine minutes down at the local tanning studio. Um, didn't really do a lot either, did he? Made a nice clearance when he came on. Uh, other than that, he weren't really tested. All of the uh, all of the play was coming down um, coming down thirty five side, really, if we're being honest. But in the end. It shouldn't have been a 2-1. Anyone who ain't watched the game would look at that scoreline and go, boy, that was a tight game. It weren't. It should have been six or seven. But we need to polish up. Yeah, and I'm a little bit disappointed. You know, people go, oh, you're always toxic and negative. No, we had an opportunity to get a better goal difference than Manchester City today. Yeah, and now we're two behind them on goal difference again. 
because of that goal. We was one behind them and we had six, seven opportunities today to go and bag goals and overtake the goal difference and get a better goal difference. And now they're playing Tottenham tomorrow. And listen, if we are going to be in a title race all the way to the death this time, goal difference might play a part. So that's why I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't go for him, go for the jugular, go and get two or three or four more. But it's what it is. Listen, David Raya is probably the angriest man on the pitch because his clean sheet, he could have had the cigar on, comfy, light work, didn't have a great deal to do again. Yeah, but Bart Simpson, C-Tech Bart Simpson, the politician at left back, has cost him his clean sheet. Great finish, by the way. Yeah, very good finish. Same as Odegaard's goal. Great finish. Yeah, the sack of goal, lovely footwork. Yeah, all in all, listen, we've won the game. We rolled on to Luton on um, Tuesday night, and then we've got good evening, good evening, uh, next Saturday evening. So, yeah, listen, all in all, um, eight goals scored in, in a couple of days, in three days, better than it has been. The performances have been better in the last two as well, although that second half, I don't want to see you going into cruise control until you're 3-0 up. When you're 3-0 up, you can do cruise control, but get that third goal, 2-0 scoreline in any competition not just the premier league but any competition a 2-0 is never enough it really ain't but listen leave your comments and thoughts down below uh kenny's at the game uh, hopefully he's not too cold because it is freezing in london and um yeah man kenny's next then jez and then player ratings i'm just watching real madrid against granada and uh it's currently nil nil at the moment 21 minutes gone and uh i'll be back again for a watch along for Newcastle versus Manchester United. Tomorrow I'll be doing a watch along for Man City Tottenham and then I'll be doing a Barcelona Atleti watch along as well. So plenty more content to come uh, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, this month's going to be mad because there's so many games coming up thick and fast. So make sure you sub, make sure you get on Lee Reacts channel as well and we're out of here. Laters.